Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and today I just want to do a bit different video. So from time to time, people reach out to me and ask like, Magnus, where do I find content available for CCSA or CCSE? And honestly, it's hard. Um, the best place where you can find content for Checkpoint is the Checkmate community. So Valerie and Phoneboy is doing a great job there. And there are some people that is posting regularly, uh, pretty advanced stuff. And there is also like checkmates for beginner or checkpoint for beginner. So there are video courses, there are labs that you can try out. They are not based on a certificate, but you will learn checkpoint. Uh, they have a lot of content available there. Compared to other vendors, there is very little content available from other people like on YouTube or blog posts or, or similar. And this is something that we need to fix together. So one of the reasons why I think it's like that, um, Checkpoint is a fairly small vendor. They have been growing a lot lately, uh, but Checkpoint for but Cisco, for example, They've had their Cisco Network Academy for, I don't know how many years, but I did study that, is it 15 years ago now? <laughs> I don't want to think about it, but I did study CCNA and CCMP with the uh, uh, Cisco Network Academy when I was in school. And the best content that I found at that time, it was CBT Nuggets. So the the how i learned cisco and how i got into networking and then into security and checkpoint is with cbt nugget with a teacher called jeremy chara so if if jeremy is listening to this one i don't think so but uh, thank you um you're a lifesaver and that's how i got my ccmp um i don't have any cisco certificate left anymore but i have said this a few times like i don't remember stuff that I learn. I need to lab, I need to watch videos or listen to to a podcast or something. I get bored if I listen to a podcast, so I cannot do that. But a video is perfect for me. Short one, maximum 20 minutes. That's why I try to keep it to 20 minutes, but it's hard. <laughs> it's really hard. Um, and the funny part is, and I don't know if this is like, um what is it called praise i don't know if this is praise to me or if checkpoint has bad education uh internally as well because i kid you not maybe like 25 30 people checkpoint scs or sales has sent me on linkedin like thank you magnus <laughs> really appreciate your training it's better than checkpoints internally so I don't know, maybe look over that checkpoint, <laughs> but it's, it's really fun to see that it's really, I mean, it's more or less the, like the best praise that you can get from someone like, yeah, the vendor itself, I mean, they are employees by the vendors, then maybe they don't work for R and D or directly under like uh, Dorit or, or Jill, but still employees from the vendor checking my content thanking me for providing them with like training on stuff that they are selling i think it's fun <laughs> i think it's fun as hell <laughs> and um i i don't want to post like people's uh, name and so on on um uh on, on youtube here without them knowing but one of the best one that i did get is like Thank you for your wonderful YouTube videos. And then uh, I responded and he, he wrote like, Thank, trust me, your videos are the first set of materials to start learning checkpoint like how CBT Nugget is for CCNA. And that like, <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> I mean, I did learn network by learning CCNA from CBT Nuggets. And if someone is comparing my content to CBT Nuggets, like a professional training company, and the person that did have the CCNA course was Jeremy Chara, like checkbox. 
<laughs> it's really um, thank you um that is how you get motivation <laughs> uh, no but honestly one thing i wanted to address like from time to time not so often anymore like people is asking me like Magnus, can you please help me with this? Are you available to do this? Uh, how do you do if this happens? And I tend to not reply uh, on those DMs if they are not like public on uh, either on Checkmates community or like uh, YouTube comments where everyone else can see. So for a community to grow and for everyone to get better on something, we need to be open and transparent. And the best way to get help, if we're not talking about like a support ticket, support ticket you need to take with your partners or checkpoint directly. But to learn something or to understand something, it's better to post in the checkmates community. Because then most likely there are other people that have exactly the same questions, that is wondering the same, that is Googling like crazy and trying to find an answer. So by posting questions and answers and helping other people on the community, the Checkmate community in this case, we are increasing the content available, making it easier to get into cybersecurity and learn this product and help other people. And I don't see any, any drawbacks of it. I mean, you can filter out all your uh, secret stuff. You can, you can anonymize it. So don't send me a DM when it comes to like, Magnus, I have issues with this. Post on the community. There are a lot more people and actually people that is a lot better than me on Checkpoint. I mean, in Checkmate's community, there are a bunch of people from R&D. They have made a product. They have written the code. They know how it works. And they also know if your experience like, yeah, this, this is because you're running it in VMware or this is because... Uh, we have a bug or this is because of whatever. So try to utilize the community. That's the only way that we can get more content available for everyone. But to leave on a positive note, I really appreciate when you guys send me uh, feedback and commenting on my on my videos and so on. I don't reply to all, but I read all and I try to reply to most of it. And I don't know, if, if you want to see my more day-to-day -day life, um, I created an Instagram a few, I think it's a year ago, <laughs> but I don't use it so much. I have started to use it a lot more now because, well, I think it's fun. So um, hit me up on Instagram if you want to know something, and I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Take care.